going to be working on a drill called the chair drill. Okay, the reason why it's called that is obviously we have a chair in the background. Now, one of the things that we've been working on pitching-wise um, with all the boys is the idea of keeping this front leg stiff. And this is probably the best drill to do that. So we have two main points that we're going to be looking at while doing this drill. The first point, like we just said, is keeping this front leg stiff. And the second drill is we want to work on extension, and we want to do that by taking our chest over our knee. And we'll get into a little bit about what that means. Okay, so we're going to get into the basic stride drill. So Ryan's going to put his front foot out about as, that's about as far as his stride usually is, except now he's going to put that back foot up on the chair. So Ryan's going to get into his uh, hands together position. We're going to say break. Ryan's going to break his hands. Same thing that we're going to be looking at. Our angle is the same with our back arm and our front arm. They're pretty good. Our shoulders are aligned right to the plate, so he's good there. He's pretty good here. Again, we want to make sure that leg is stiff. The last thing we want to do is flex that leg because that's going to kill all of our offensive going forward. Okay, Ryan pull. So Ryan pulls, throws the pitch. And again, stiff front leg. Very good here. Key, just like it is in hitting, it's the same thing in pitching. And the second thing that we want to make sure of, it's kind of tough because Ryan's arm is in the way. But when we throw, we want to make sure that our chest is over our knee. So what we mean by that is if I take Ryan's heart, so I'm going into Ryan's heart. If I go straight down, I should not hit his knee. Too many of our guys, when they throw, they're up and they're back like this. And if I run a straight line down to their heart, I'm going to hit their knee. In order to get extended and to get that pitch down where we want to with the strike zone, we got to make sure that we're doing a good job of finishing with our lower back and having that flat back. 